Hello everyone. Now we will be discussing systemic lupus erythematosus that is also known as SLE. So what is SLE? It is an autoimmune multisystem disorder of unknown etiology. So SLE kya hai? It is an autoimmune disorder. First you have to know that it is an autoimmune disorder and it has an unknown etiology fine and after that it is it is a multi-system disorder so pehle kya janenge hum iske baare mein sle ke baare mein first thing is that it is an autoimmune disorder it has an unknown etiology and it is a multi-system disorder okay so what are the now we will study what are the risk factors risk factors so females are more susceptible to SLE than the males and the females of reproductive age are more susceptible reproductive age are more susceptible than to the extremes of age okay fine so what are, what are, uh, what are the two risk factors here females of females are more susceptible than males and reproductive age females are more susceptible than extreme of age now it is also associated with certain genes like as hla dq iska mutation hone se bhi aapko sle ho sakta hai to hla dq you have to remember this then it is also related to uv rays person susceptible to uv rays can also develop sle then it is also related to certain type of drugs drugs known as ship drugs we'll be discussing about them later in our class so drug ship like sulfonamides hydralazine phenytoin and some other drugs okay so drugs then some infections like septicemia infections like septicemia which leads to the formation of something known as net nets that is neutrophil extracellular traps okay and also deficiency of some complement proteins complement proteins like c1 C2, C4 deficiency. Deficiency of complement proteins like C1, C2, and C4. So let's revise again. So what is SLE? SLE is an autoimmune disorder. Fine. Then it has an unknown etiology. Then it is a multi system disorder. The risk factors include female are more susceptible. The females of reproductive age are more susceptible to it. It is also related with genes such as HLA DQ gene. Then it is related to UV rays, uh, persons uh, uh, susceptible to UV rays. Then some drugs, sulfonamides, hydralazine, phenytoin. Then infection like septicemia, which leads to the formation of neutrophil extracellular traps. Then also to deficiency of some complement proteins like C1, C1, C2, and C4 deficiency. Okay. Now next. Start preparing for the NEET MDS from your home. Dr. Pranab Academy of Dental Sciences. Online classes for all 1st, 2nd, 3rd and final year students. NEET MDS online test series. Unlimited practice and highest quality teaching. Affordable pricing. Download the app now. Next, there are criteria. Criteria for diagnosis of SLE. Criteria for diagnosis of sle so there are total of 11 11 criteria so if there is four or greater than four out of 11 then we can say that a person is suffering from uh, sle so what are the 11 criteria that can be remembered by an acronym md so brain yeah all right brain 
you can remember the ac by acronym md so bring m for malar rash so there is rash in the malar region it is also known as butterfly rash d for discoid rash i'll show you a picture of discoid rash then s for serositis o for oral ulcers generally the oral ulcers like ectus ulcers are painful but in case of SLE, the oral ulcers are painless. Okay? Feed A for arthritis. Then P for photosensitivity. The people suffering from SLE are photosensitive. Then B for autoantibodies in blood fine then r for renal disorders then a for antinuclear antibodies antinuclear antibodies i for immunological defects and then n for neurological manifestations neurological manifestations kya hoga like epilepsy psychosis etc okay so let's revise once m for malar rash okay so what is malar rash let's see in the next slide this is malar rash also known as butterfly Rash, see here. Uh, this is the shape of a butterfly, right? Here also. Not showing my pen. I'll show it with a pointer. So this is the see butterfly butterfly rash. You can see here, this is the butterfly rash. Fine. And next, this is a discoid rash. It's like a disc, right? So that's why it's known as discoid rash. Okay. So let's see next. This is known as malar rash or butterfly rash this picture may come in your exam NEET, mds whatever exam you are appearing this is a very common question okay and this is discoid rash because of its disc like disc like appearance Then malar rash hogia, discoid rash, then serositis, then inflammation of the joints, ye hai. Then oral ulcers, these oral ulcers are remember painless, not painful. Arthritis hoga, photosensitivity hoga, autoantibodies uh, in blood, renal disorders, antinuclear antibodies, immunological defects, neurological manifestation, and that is epilepsy and apka psychosis. So let's see individually the organs involved. Oral cavity involvement mein kya hota hai? Oral cavity involvement mein painless ulcers. Fine. Then joints involvement. Joints involvement mein hoga aapko non-erosive arthritis. Fine. Then skin involvement me. Apko kya hoga? Mene bataya already. Butterfly rash. Okay. We'll have butterfly rash that increases 
in intensity on uv rays exposure okay now pulmonary involvement we told i have told in the beginning that uh, this is a multi system disorder so we have seen that oral cavities involved joints are involved skin involved pulmonary involvement pulmonary involvement mein kya hota hai aapko pleuritis theek hai that is more common also something known as shrinking lung syndrome is also seen shrinking lung syndrome so how you will remember this shrinking lung syndrome sle hai na hum sle ke bare mein padh rahe to s l shrinking lung fine next kidney involvement so what do we see in kidney kidney involvement type 4 glomerulo nephritis and diffuse proliferative glomerulo nephritis we will be talking in detail about glomerulo nephritis in our nephrology classes okay so we also see something known as wire loop lesions ये वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट है वायर लूप लेशंस आर सीन इन एसएलए ठीक है नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट कार्डियक इन्वॉल्वमेंट कार्डियक इन्वॉल्वमेंट में क्या होता है कार्डियक इन्वॉल्वमेंट में क्या होता है वी हैव पेरी कार्डाइटिस दैट इज मोर कॉमन एंड आल्सो वी हैव गॉट endocarditis endocarditis mein kya hota hai limman limman tac endocarditis so this is l s c -E s l e l s c -E. ye aapko remember karna padega theek hai and where does it occurs it occurs on the the vegetations are seen on the lower surface of mitral valve mitral valve the vegetations are seen on the lower surface of mitral valve ye aapko yaad rakhna padega jo mitral valve ka lower part hai usme hum vegetation dekhte hain theek hai now let's see about the spleen involvement so spleen involvement mein what do we see onion skin appearance in blood vessels is seen due to reactions to immune complexes immune complexes to so skin skin appearance kya hota hai it's like the onion skin appearance like this ठीक है सो दिस इज इट नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द ऑटो एंटीबॉडीज आई 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 गेस यू अंडरस्टूड व्हाट एवर आई हैव बीन टॉकिंग हियर लाइक फ्रॉम द स्टार्टिंग ओरल कैविटी इन्वॉल्वमेंट वी हैव गॉट पेनलेस अल्सर्स जॉइंट्स इन्वॉल्वमेंट नॉन इरोसिव आर्थराइटिस देन स्किन इन्वॉल्वमेंट बटरफ्लाई रैश देन पल्मोनरी इन्वॉल्वमेंट प्लूराइटिस श्रिंकिंग लंग सिंड्रोम देन किडनी इन्वॉल्वमेंट टाइप 4 ग्लोमेरुलो नेफ्राइटिस then uh, cardiac involvement pericarditis and endocarditis endocarditis is libman sex endocarditis it is lse uh, which involves the lower vegetations are seen in the lower surface of mitral valve then split involvement we have got onion skin appearance in blood vessels fine now let's talk about auto antibodies auto antibodies So we have got number one anti-nuclear antibodies or anti-nuclear antibodies. 
so it is the most sensitive test for diagnosis anti nuclear antibodies then we have got anti smith antibodies also we have got anti double stranded dna antibodies this is the most specific specific test for diagnosis so ye aapko yaad karna hai anti nuclear is sensitive so dekho n hai yahan pe anti nuclear sensitive mein bhi n hai so you can remember it like that anti smith and anti double stranded dna are most specific theek hai anti rho antibody is there anti rho antibody is there body is there it is associated with neonatal lupus so there is a type of lupus which is seen in children so uh, in those cases we see anti rho antibody to rho how we can remember neonat matlab bachcha hai small child so what they do they cry right rote hai rote hai so anti rho antibody is associated with neonatal anti bodies theek hai now next number four ho gaya now i'll go back there is less space here is option just a minute ha so number 5 aapka kya hai anti p antibody so this is associated with psychosis theek hai number 6 is anti b beta 2 glycoprotein anti body theek hai fine fine now these are the antibodies defined antibodies present in systemic lupus erythematosus now next come one of the type of cell found in loop sle that is known as le cell ye aapko yaad rakhna hai ye aapko puchega le cells are found where it is found in le cell it is a neutrophil neutrophil or macrophage with damaged cell in it it is basically a neutrophil theek hai ye jo l l e cell hai it is basically a neutrophil and it is present in vitro fine right? next what is the treatment for apka sle that is steroids because it is an autoimmune disorder basically the treatment is steroids next now we will be talking about little bit about drug induced apka drug induced lupus so i told you before that there are ship drugs which cause lupus so what are they sulfonamides sulfonamides like dapson hydralazine isoniazide it is used for tuberculosis e4 pro senamide procanamide or prosenamide theek hai so how you will diagnose this history of drug intent drug intake present so this these are the patient who have taken the drugs then they suffer from this uh, 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 sle theek hai history of drug intake present no difference from the other sle is that no kidney or brain is involved kidney or brain isme involved nahi hota hai theek hai and here anti histone antibodies are 
present so you have to remember this no kidney brain this is the differentiating feature no kidney or brain involved and anti histone antibodies are present which are not present in the other one okay it is also associated with genes such as hla dr4 and hla dr6 now how we will treat drug induced lupus treatment is withdrawal of offending drug so this was all about systemic lupus erythematosus fine so we will revise once again about the antibodies auto antibodies presence anti nuclear antibodies n for n most sensitive test for diagnosis then we have got anti smith antibodies then we have got anti double stranded dna most specific test for diagnosis anti rho antibody associated with neonatal lupus neonat rota hai to child rote hai that's why anti rho fine then drug induced lupus kya hota hai ship ship drugs sulfonamides dapsone hydralazine isoniazid prosenamide theek hai what is the history history of drug intake is present no kidney or brain involvement to kya hota hai most characteristic feature which differentiate sle from drug induced lupus is that no kidney or brain involvement sle mein hum dekhte hai psychosis hota hai seizures hota hai par aapka drug induced lupus mein no kidney or no brain is involved fine then anti histone antibodies are present in diabetic and uh, uh, drug induced lupus anti histone antibodies you have to remember it is also associated with hla dr4 gene hla dr4 and i have mistaken here i think just a minute hla dr4 and i should have written here 6 hla dr4 and hla dr6 ठीक है एसोसिएटेड विद एच एल ए डी आर फोर एंड एच एल ए डी आर सिक्स वॉट इज द ट्रीटमेंट ट्रीटमेंट इज विदड्रॉल ऑफ ऑफेंडिंग ड्रग सो जो ड्रग उसको कॉज कर रहा है उसको हमको रिमूव करना पड़ेगा सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट सिस्टेमिक लूपस एरिथमेट आई होप यू लाइक द क्लास एंड यू आर बेनिफिटेड फ्रॉम इट प्लीज डू गिव ए लाइक एंड शेयर इफ यू रियली लाइक द क्लास and please do subscribe to our channel for getting more videos thank you very much